What's up, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and this is a public service announcement that Yakuza 5 is finally officially out in North America and Europe for the first time in English. I am super excited about this chain of events. It has been three years since the Japanese release of Yakuza 5, and it has been four and a half years since Yakuza 4 came out in English. Uh, so I'm just going to screw around for a little bit here. This is way early in the game. Way early. But uh, if you don't know what this series of games is, uh, I don't know that starting at 5 is not necessarily the best idea in the world, but uh, you can only get it digitally on the PS3, so not exactly a great starting point. But if you are a fan of the series, you probably already know this is out, so you don't need me to tell you that it's out. And my luck today is terrible. Uh, so that's a fun thing to realize. Um, so here we are, Kazuma Kiryu, the Dragon of Dojima, once again. Uh, for, for those of you who watched the PlayStation Experience keynote, uh, will see that Yakuza 0, which is the prequel to the first game, uh, which is, came out on the PS3 and PS4, um, is officially getting released here, uh, which is fantastic. This guy wants to be a Shogi Master. I don't know how to play Shogi. But yeah, this is a big game. The, the, this, this series of games are the amount of things to do, the amount of things to see, the amount of side missions, the amount of main missions, the amount of content is huge. So, uh, I'm not going to play Shogi right now. That's, I don't have time for that. Sorry, I'll, I'll let you know that you're here and obviously you're there to play some Shogi. I don't know how to play Shogi, so... That is a traditional Japanese board game, kind of like chess, but not really. Uh, if I had to sum it up. Uh, so yes, this is quite early in the story. As you can see here, I'm a little bit tipsy, a little bit drunk. Uh, went out with my boss drinking, and now I am here wandering the streets. This is not Kamurocho. This is... Where is this? This is uh, Nagasugai. I'm, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, but yeah, this is maybe an hour into the game or so, so still real early. And I will warn you, uh, if you're getting into this game uh, and you don't know any better, uh, when you when you start that opening cutscene, make a sandwich, because uh, it goes on for a good, like, 20 minutes, uh, if not a bit more than that. So right now, we're just looking for somebody to fight, because we're, we're mad about it. We're mad about life. We're, we're drunk. Just a little bit. Uh, and I'm sure there will be some street punks uh, who want to... Uh, have a bad time here, so let's head down one of these side streets. So the things that I like about the Yakuza series, besides the fact that they are just, have this enormous amount of content in them for, uh, for what they are, is that you get a certain vibe, you get, you, you, there, there's a certain sense of space here that you don't get from a lot of other games. Um, and for someone like me, who obviously can't afford to, 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 to go to Japan, uh, it is just a, just a tiny slice of, uh, that style of just, you know, like, they, they accurately model a lot of these streets and businesses, and there's a Club Sega, you know, like, you can go in there and play an arcade game. That guy is gonna want to fight. Hey, how you doing, town thug? And so, yes, there is combat in this game, and the combat is, as always, pretty fantastic. Uh, it is just downright ridiculous. Like, we're gonna hit our heat move here to stomp his fucking face in. It is great. And then all his, like, little thug friends are all fucking freaked out now. And we're gonna go here and find something to smash him into. Boom. And then, uh, we're gonna go over here and pick up a goddamn bicycle. And fuck you up with a bicycle. Fuck your couch. Boom. So yes, this game has a ridiculous fighting engine, and the things you do in this game are insane, and I seem to even be missing somebody here. Is he running away? Are you running away? There's no crying in baseball. Oh god. Is it just him? Just, just this guy. Alright. Just this one guy. And I want to grab him and take him over to this door. Oh, I guess that didn't work. Oh well. 
in any event, yes, the fighting stuff, the heat moves get really ridiculous, and it is a hell of a lot of fun, and he gave me money for that. Like, you picked a fight, and gave me money. It's great. Um, a lot of these stores you can go in, a lot of these stores you can interact with usually. Uh, look at the map here. Oops. Can add another ability here. Awesome. Uh, we'll do drop kick. We'll do uh, tortoise spirit. And I think we'll do regard. Uh, there, there is a pretty good uh, upgrade system. You get all kinds of ad additional abilities. Uh, as you can see here, there's side stories, there's sub stories. You get a completion thing. I'm 0.68% complete in this game. There's oh god, this guy wants to fight now. I didn't even see you. I was gonna look at the map for something else. All right, well, if you want to be a dick about it? You can fucking be a dick about it. You want to get your face smashed into this fucking uh, thing here? That's that's a, I, that that's that's your business, bro. That's your business. I ain't gonna tell you how to do your business. Boom! That's my favorite one. Just swing him by the spine into the pole is my favorite one. It's so great. You can pick up a this signboard here and be like, "Look, motherfucker! Look, motherfucker!" Y'all don't want none of the Dragon of Dojima. All I'm trying to say. Yep. Some of that for you. So yes, this is... In my opinion, this right here is the last great PS3 game. If you still have a PS3, you need this shit. Uh, it is awesome. If you haven't played any previous Yakuza games, you can probably get 3 and 4 pretty cheap. Uh, and they do have a recap system that will recap what happened in 1 and 2. Uh, and this game has that too. It has the reminisce feature that we you know, kind of go over. It's kind of the, the core events, because this game is very heavily story-based, right? So there's a lot of, st there's a lot of st stuff going on that uh, if you don't know the characters, if you don't know, you know the history of uh, what they've been doing since since the first game, uh, you might be a little bit lost. Um, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna head to this convenience store here and show you some more of the attention to detail in this game series. It is uh, kind of nuts, kind of nuts. You can pick up all kinds of weird side missions from different characters, and uh, that's always fun. We're gonna head in here to. This place. You get experience from eating food. There is food experience. We're gonna have some uh, original wonton ramen. We're gonna order some of that and eat it up. And it's gonna be tasty and we're gonna regain some heat gauge there. I like this. Got some health back. Got experience points for eating food. If you can't tell, I'm really excited to fucking play another Yakuza game. And the fact that they're also bringing over Yakuza Zero is great. Now granted, we didn't get the spinoffs, right? There are two samurai spinoffs, uh, Kenzen and Ishin. Like, those ones are not getting localized, that's a shame. Uh, we also didn't get the two PSP games uh, that I did play, actually. Um, and they're pretty cool. Uh, I wanted to go into a convenience store, and I want to say it's that way. Uh, and yeah, so... Unfortunately, you know, not not all the games are getting localized. That's a shame. But this felt like the last chance for this series. This felt like if this game, they said, if this game didn't sell, and granted, it's a digital only PS3 release in 2015, said if this game didn't sell, that'd be it. They'd be done. So Sony went out of their way to say, okay, we're gonna help you guys over at Sega because people obviously want this game series, even though four um, didn't didn't do great, and then they they, they localized the weird spin-off shooting game Dead Souls, which was not a good game, um, and that obviously tanked because it wasn't a good game. But uh, we thought this would be the end of this series, but no, this series lives on in North North America. I can sit here and look at these magazines, like literally, I can go here and look, and look at a copy of Spa, and like here's the cover of Spa. That's all in Japanese. I can't read that shit, but it's fucking great. It's here. I love it. Um, and so we are done reading magazines for right now, but, actually, actually no, actually no, I want to see, I want to see what is on the cover of the Weekly Famitsu, which is the game magazine in Japan.
Who's on the cover of Famitsu? That guy. I don't know what the hell that guy is. I think, actually, that might be the, 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 the mascot. Like, they couldn't have any actual game there, so that's like the mascot of the magazine. How about that? How about that? I thought perhaps they'd have a game card for, the, for, for this game, which would, be, which would be even funnier. The manga shelf. Let's read Fairy Tale. That's an actual manga. Holy shit, we can sit here and read actual fairy tale, which is not localized in any way whatsoever. We can read a chapter of fairy tale. That is crazy. Do they have One Piece? Uh, I don't know any, like, I recognize fairy tale. I think I saw the anime for a good ending. That's boxing, uh, attack on, hold on, hold on, yep. Let's look at, initial D, uh-huh. Ghost in the Shell, uh-huh. Hold on. Let's see what chapter they were at for Attack on Titan. Oh man, this is real early. This is that's this chapter one, isn't it? Chapter one, Attack on Titan, is in this game. There's a lot of stuff in Yakuza 5. It's real fucking cool. If you haven't played any of these games, uh, certainly perhaps not the best place to start. But if you want to get into fucking just crazy, insane game with a ton of fucking content. Yep. Attack on Titan. That's fucking great. Alright, enough of that. I'm still drunk. I'm still walking around. Uh, so yes, this game has a lot of story, has a lot of fighting, has a lot of mini-games. You can go fishing, you can hunt bears, drive taxis, go bowl... I think baseball, bowling, I don't... Arcade machines. There is a lot of stuff in Yakuza 5. I can't possibly cover all of it in a three-hour video. So I'm going to end it right here. Uh, just a tiny sampling of the madness that is Yakuza 5 out right now on the PlayStation Store. If you have a PS3, I would certainly recommend picking it up. It's 40 bucks, I know. Digital only, I know. But thankfully, thanks to all the fans out there of this game series pre-ordering this game, they put it up for pre-order back in like August. Thanks to all the fans of this series, Yakuza... For the time being, we'll continue in North America and Europe being localized. Yakuza 0 coming out at some point uh, on the PS4 uh, as a physical release. Super excited for that. I am a tax slug. This has been your public service announcement. Yakuza 5 can't wait to dig in and play like 30, 40, 100 hours, whatever it's going to be uh, for this game. It's a huge game. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. And I'm out!